It's time. It's time. Shout out to With Sales Ahead, by the way. I like the shirt. I'm. I actually do like this shirt. This is a. This is a good shirt. It's a good shirt. Great band, also. Great band. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Just JP. I'm Justin, and today we are doing one of probably the most highly requested bands and songs on the channel. I'm finally giving it to you guys. Today we are doing King Crimson with the song Starless. I'm actually really excited to get into this song. I've heard a lot of good things about it, and I do enjoy what I've heard of, Kring, of King Crimson, not Kring Crimson. Who's that? I don't have the names of everybody who recommended this song, honestly, because I just chose to do this kind of randomly. I didn't like pull up my list like usual. Um, but I do have to shout out over on Twitter, Blue Purple Green. Love you, man. Blue Purple Green is responsible for this song and King Crimson being on the channel. So everyone shout out to Blue, Blue, Blue Purple Green because he's awesome. Um, I know he's a big King Crimson fan, so I wanted to finally kind of get into it with them. And as far as I know, King Crimson has some copyright kind of issues over here. I'm not quite sure if it's going to affect this video or not. But here's what's going to happen. If this song is copyrighted and it's blocked and all that kind of stuff, what I'm going to do is I'm going, instead of like cutting up the song like I have in the past, I'm actually just going to mute the music. So what I'm going to do is just put a link to the actual song down below in the description, if this happens, by the way. Um, and you guys can literally click that as I start it here and you can kind of listen to it on both angles or on both sides. I know that doesn't really work so much for cell phones and I'm super sorry about that. I'm just trying to find a different way to kind of get around this copyright thing. And I think that it's not even worth having the song on if I have to cut it up so much. You, you know, like, if you're new to the song and you haven't heard it, then that's not going to be the right way to hear it here, is to have it cut up. And if you know the song, then you may not mind as much, but I think it's a pure way to kind of have best of both worlds. Of course, let me know your suggestions. Um, and of course, if this doesn't have any copyright problems, then you'll get the video like normal, and there won't be a problem. Anyways, I really do thank you guys for joining me here. I hope that you enjoy the channel. I hope that you're enjoying the video so far. Um, I'm having a great time doing this. My cat is in the room and she wants to get out, but she's just kind of stuck right now. So she's going to deal with it. She's going to become a King Crimson fan, a Cat Crimson fan. Anyways, let's get into the song. This is King Crimson with Starless. Join me on Twitter. Join me in the comments below. Please let me know what you think of this song. Let's go.
you guys knew I would like that. You guys knew I would like that. You guys have been telling me to do this song for the longest time, and I'm sorry for ignoring you, but you guys knew that I would love that song. <laughs> Man. Ah, oh, jeez. I gotta be honest. <laughs> From like the first like 10 seconds, I already knew I was pretty much gonna love this song. I kind of just got lost in the song. So I am I feel like I'm not gonna be able to talk too much about it because I really just absorbed it. Like honestly, I just really, really, really loved it. It's perfect. It's a perfect song. <laughs> like what else do you want? This is the perfect progressive rock. This is just the perfect song. I don't have much to say. Thanks for watching Just JP. I'm out. Okay, 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 okay. But seriously, like, come on. From the first 10 seconds, you're thrown into this beautiful, beautiful, just melody. Then bass just plumbing along, plucking along. I don't know what plumbing is. Just starting you off, starting you off. But then what it gets into just a minute in. Oh, and the saxophone? Are you kidding me? I did not expect this saxophone that listen saxophone is just one of those sounds you either love it or you love it I mean it's a beautiful sound I love it so much and I did not expect it in this song jeez there's so much to talk about here I like the way that the saxophone is used here it's not overly used this isn't a jazz song but it does have jazzy elements when it comes to the all honestly all the music and all the instruments and the way they play but the saxophone is just used to fill in space the bass playing Woo! I did not expect the bass playing either. I didn't, I didn't expect anything pretty much from this song. I, I didn't know what to expect, and I, I got greatness. The bass playing on this song is, is phenomenal. It's groovy when it needs to. It, it's, it's very technical, but never to the point of showing off, never to the point of you getting lost in what he's doing. He throws down these awesome fills, these awesome, awesome melodies. I really love how the bass is played here. And what I really like is that it actually stands out. I like... As someone who, you know, connects with bass, I just I just feel like it's not ever um, it's not typically brought up to the forefront in music, but I really like how here it, it's produced very well and it's right in your face, not to the point where it's offensive, but it, it's right there and it brings you real it brings you right into the song. And if I can combine the drum work and the guitar work into one word, well, maybe not one word, but if I can combine them into one category. They each know where they need to be at the right place, but then they like to kind of go off a little bit, do a little something. The drumming especially, which I absolutely loved, the whole time, especially in the beginning, it's kind of restrained to a pocket groove, which is fine. It has to set the tone and the rhythm for the music, but it's doing all these little fills throughout that it's so interesting. It just gets your attention right away, and never, it's, never is it done so much that it's distracting. Because that's what you want to be careful when it comes to things um, like instruments, doing something, doing a flare, doing something interesting. You want it to be to the point that it captures your attention and it keeps you interested, but you don't want it to be so much that you're a distraction, hence being in the pocket. And the drumming here is honestly amazing. And I don't mean pocket in an offensive way, because uh, Bill Bro Bruford, Bill Bruford is an amazing drummer in his own right. Let's not get that messed up. But he stays in his rhythm. He stays in his groove. He carries the, the music. I don't want to say he carries the music. I think, I personally think the bass carries the music, but hey, that's a discussion for another day. The drum just keeps that rhythm, but then every once in a while, he's just flaring it up. He does these really cool, nice little grooves, uh, nice little um, time changes and tempo changes and stuff like that. And I really, I honestly love that. Looking at the, the band and, you know, the members here, and John Wetton, or John Wheaton, I, I want to say it's John Wetton, is the singer and also the bassist. Double points for me, just like Geddy Lee. And I think that's an amazing ability to play the bass and to sing at the same time. Um, I don't want to say more so than guitar. Let me not put down guitarists and singers, or let me not put down singers who also play guitar at the same time. But it's a different kind of element to provide the groove of the song and still be able to sing with that groove, sometimes going off of that groove. It's a, it's a kind of different element, I feel. Um, not only is, an, is he an amazing bassist, but he's an amazing vocalist. And I'm very glad that... Um, <laughs> He's in the band. <laughs> and I think you guys know that his voice is the kind that I really enjoy. There's certain voices I just connect with right away. For example, you have David Sylvian and Scott Walker. 
deep, rich voices. I've always connected with that. His vocals, I love them. They're smooth. They're not deep, but they're deep and they're, they are rich. And they're just so tonefully pleasing to listen to. I know that's a new one, tonefully pleasing, but I'm trying to use other words in my, in my vocabulary. His voice just melts over the song and I think it's absolutely amazing. And it's not overused at all. Um, for most of the middle section, he is gone and then he comes back in at the end. Uh, just honestly awesome. And how interesting, how interesting this middle section here was. This was super fun to listen to. That was what I feel. I feel like this is the perfect buildup in what it does. It starts so simply, the guitar is playing one note, the drumming starts super, super, super simple, and then eventually just blows up into this huge explosion of, of just, <laughs> not a solo, but just this going, he's just going off. I love the bass. You can hear the bass doing all sorts of things here. The drums, slowly coming in, staying in his pocket, doing more things coming in. I love that so much. I think it's so cool to listen to. It's chaotic, but it works. The time signature, yes, it is chaotic, but I love it. I mean, it sounds so smooth. The way that the saxophone just goes off, if this is copyright written, I probably shouldn't play music as I'm talking. <laughs> the way the saxophone just bounces all around, it's crazy. It's, it's just, everyone's just going off at that point. But then they bring it right back into that groove. Oh, I love that initial sound. Let me play that. Everyone in this band did an amazing job. I haven't listened to a ton of King Crimson, but this makes me honestly just kind of want to literally listen to everything they've done. Now, what I think is really interesting just from reading Wikipedia, uh, did I say weeding Wikipedia? From reading Wikipedia, is that this is the final and longest track on the album Red, released in 1974, after which the group disbanded. So this is like their last song. This is like the last thing. So lyrically, uh, the verse begins, sundown, dazzling day, gold through my eyes, but my eyes turned within, only see, starless and Bible black. Okay, it's like everything outside, everything outside of him is happy. The sun shining down on him, gold through my eyes, sunshine, but my eyes turned within, only see starless and Bible black. He's looking within him. He only sees darkness. Um, yeah, darkness. <laughs> he sees emptiness. He sees something that should be there but isn't. So when you have to look, when you look at the title, starless, starless. You know, when you look up at a night sky, there's supposed to be stars there. There should be stars there. They not only provide light, but they're a beautiful thing to look at. Um, there, there's there's so much light and life, you know, in the stars and what they provide. So starless, there's something missing. There's a light that's missing. So when he looks inside, he's missing something inside of him, a spark, if you will. Old friend charity, cruel twisted smile, and the smile signals emptiness for me. Maybe like you're, you're, you're forcing yourself to smile for others, but inside you are not smiling at all, like you're depressed um, or whatever it may be. Like the smile, as it says, it, the smile signals emptiness for me. Like he's forcing himself to smile this this cruel twisted smile just to appease others just to look happy on the outside yeah but but inside he's just dying and then the verse three ice blue silver sky fades into gray to a gray hope that all yearns to be starless and bible black uh icy blue sky silver sky okay a nice day outside fades into gray to a gray that ho to a gray hope that yearns to be i think that's interesting it, it fades to gray, which is typically like a middle color. It's not white, it's not black, it's, it's gray. It's in the middle. You could take it into that sense and say, it wants to be either one or the other. It wants to be something, hot or cold, not in the middle. Or you can take it as how a sky, a gray sky is often taken as gloomy, depressing, and it wants to be. What does it want to be? It just wants to be. So you can take that from the, the, the lyricist standpoint of depression, you know, putting on a facade for everyone else, but inside um, there's depression, there's turmoil that no one else knows. And taking those lyrics with the uh, story behind the song and how it's their, their very last song, last song on the last album, um, you could almost see that as a breaking the fourth wall kind of thing. Like they were doing, I don't, I don't know the history of the band. I don't know why they broke up. I don't, I literally don't know anything about it. This is just a guess based off the lyrics of the song and what I know here. But it seems like 
maybe the inner turmoil of the band, whatever the reasons may have been that they've broken up, um, they were trying to, you know, they were trying to make it all work. They seemed happy on the outside to everyone else. They seemed maybe that they were doing great, but inside the band, it just wasn't working out. And for whatever reason, they ended. I actually, believe it or not, I actually do listen to the songs I listen to here. I actually listen to them again after I leave here. And maybe not immediately, but like within the next week, I do listen to the songs, whether I like them or not, just because I like to get a second opinion. I think it's impossible to get a true opinion on a first listen of a song. But I can tell you that I really did enjoy this. And I can tell you that I'm going to listen to this again. And uh, unless you guys really want more, I might listen to the rest of this album, to be honest. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. I seriously enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think of the song. Hopefully the copyright issues were either okay or... I hope they are I hope... Just let me listen to the song, man. You guys are awesome. Blue, purple, green. Thank you so much for your patience. I know you've been waiting for this song. And I know you guys have a few more that you've been waiting for. I'll, I'll work towards them. Maybe we'll do Suppers Ready if we get to like a thousand subscribers or something. Which, at the, at the rate we're going, might be uh, kind of soon. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me here. I really do, really do thank you. Have a great night. Join me on Twitter. Join me in the comments down below. I'm always there. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. I really do. Because I know that I am. Thank you so much. Bye.